Hello. Yes, hello. Hello. Yes, hello. <laughs> hello, Fong Mai. How are you? Are you feeling good? Okay, thank you. And you? Yes, oh, thank you for asking. Teacher is pretty good. Wow, pretty and then good. <laughs> yes. <laughs> By the way, how about uh, you? What did you do in your class? Is it very easy there to study? The subjects are good? <laughs> how was your classes today? Mm -hmm. Good also? Yes. Not difficult. A bit. Good. Yeah. Oh, are you sleepy now? No. No. Okay, so are you ready to study? Hi. Okay. Okay, so let's have this, our book. Okay, so we will continue. Okay, from my 19 start. Okay, so we are done answering this. Let's move on our page 19. I want you to read the instructions, subjects in unusual order, okay? So, teacher, what is unusual? Like, it's very rare, right? In most questions, the subject comes after the verb or between parts of the verb phrase. Okay, the subject comes after the verb. Oh, it's very rare or unusual. When I say rare, it's another term, unusual. Are you ready? Have you packed a bag? Have to packed is a verb phrase. Right? So look at this one. Verb phrase and verb subject. Verb you is the subject. Verb subject phrase. Have you packed a bag? Did you understand my? Yes. Okay. So for if you will ask question, of course, you will start the verb, not the subject. Okay. So let's have this, the subject of a command or imperative sentence is usually you. Often, you doesn't appear in the sentence because it is implied, impli, infla, implied or understood. Okay, so implied or understood. So we have this, get into the car. Oh, so you will get, get into the car. You will get, you will go to the car or you will get something. Okay, so get is a verb and implied the subject is you. So you will be the one to go to the car. Okay, you will be the one to go to the car. Get into the car. But uh, you will say, ah, oh, what's the, what do you want to get? Didn't say, oh, get something, right? <laughs> we didn't say you get something in the car, but get into the car. So you will be the one to go in the car. Next, in an inverted sentence, the subject comes after the verb. So off on a trip. Want the happy family. Want is a verb and subject is the family. Okay? So in some sentences, beginning with the words here or there, the subject follows the verb. You find the subject by looking at the words that follow the verb. Mm -hmm. For example, where is the state? He is a state park. There are many campsites available. So in short, we will... We will write first the verb and the su and the second is the subject. So verb, subject, verb, subject. Okay? Are you ready now? Okay, okay yeah. let's start. Number one. Please read the instruction. My finding. Okay. Uh, please start. Please read subject. Positions. positions. In the no. following sentences, the line the simple subject once and the verb or verb phrase twice. If the subject is understood, write you in in you par in the parenthesis parente parenthesis on the line parenthesis. Okay. So what will you write? You will write you if it if you understood. Okay, did you understand? Just like this again. Okay. Where is it? Just like this. Have you packed a bag? So have have is a verb and subject is you. So that's why this is a verb phrase. 
Okay, let's start number one. Please read the sentence first. One more time. You will underline the simple subject once only. But you will underline the verb or verb phrase twice. Okay, number one. Can you start? Please read first the sentence. Over, Over the team, a park ranger. Okay, so what's your simple subject and a verb phrase twice? Verb phrase. Mm -hmm. That's your answer. You will underline the subject. That is only, okay, that is the, underline the simple subject. Is that your subject? Subject, my subject. Okay, the instruction, underline the simple subject once, only once for the simple subject, and the verb or verb phrase that is twice. So the question is, where is your, that's right, that is your verb that is game. What is your subject? Your simple subject. Okay, so our instruction, verb and then subject. Verb and then subject. So it means the verb for, comes first and the next is the subject. So what's your subject for this sentence? Number one is... Pain, that is a verb, that's right. And how about the subject? You. Okay, over the hill, came you? Came you apart, Ranger? Okay. Over the hill, came you? Came you apart, Ranger? So actually, the subject is... What is the subject? The park ranger. Okay. So, verb first and then subject. Just like this. Verb, subject. Verb, subject. Okay. So, we have verb, subject, which is you, and then verb, subject, phrase. So, have you packed? Okay. So, my, your answer is correct. V. That is game. So number two, can you try? Did he? Did he help the family with their tent? Mm -hmm. What's your answer? Mm, help. That's right. That is your verb. Okay. Next, he is, subject. he is subject, so mm -hmm. so it means different, right? So for this, that's why we say unusual because not all the time, right? That's why we say unusual because not all the time that you will follow verb and subject. So for this, this is the subject. If subject, that is only once, and then the verb, that is twice. So, did he help? Next, number three. Was the tent easy to assemble? Mm -hmm. What's your answer? Go, Ma, you can do it. Okay, what's your answer number four? I mean, number three was just the, was the, oh, you answer? Ten is subject. Okay, so your subject is ten, and then how about your verb? What is a symbol? A symbol? Mm -hmm. So just like this. Okay, are you? Are is the verb and then 
is the verb. So actually we have the helping verb where it, the helping verb is was. This is the helping verb or auxiliary was. Okay, so that's why we have subject verb. I mean verb subject, verb subject. Was is so is the verb and this one tent is a subject. Next number four. There were four air mattresses for four people. Okay, what is your subject and what is your... Um, yes, what is your subject and a subject? Verb and subject. A ten is subject. Is... Number four. Mm -hmm. What's your answer, number four? Air mattresses. Is the... Okay, this is the subject. That's right. How about the verb? Mm. Mm -hmm. What is your verb for this sentence? Okay, we're talking about air mattresses. So many. So of course, this is not only one. So it means this, the verb is where. If only one was. But this one is past tense. So there where. Where, that is the, the helping verb. Okay, number five. Start to count, count fire carefully. What is your answer? What is your verb and what is your subject? When I say verb, that is an action. Mm. Yeah, so what's your yeah. number five? Start with verb, the compile is subject. Okay, to compile is the subject, and start is the verb. Next, number six. Her is the food. Mm -hmm. Her is the food. Is the food here is is verb. The food is subject. Okay, the food is a subject, and what is your verb? Your verb is what? Mm, is that's good. This is one. This one is linking verb. So actually, in our verb, we have verb, helping verb. This one is the linking verb for number six. Next, number seven. Near our tent stood a large deer. So what's your answer? Mm hmm. Near is subject to is verb. Near is the preposition. Actually, near just like near, near. on. Yeah. Near on and then in, at, they are preposition. So when I say action, that is verb. So stood, stood, that is verb. And then your subject is large deer. We're talking about the large deer. Okay, stood. Next, number eight. What was or was the deer? Mm -hmm. Does you read? Was? Was the deer alone or with a group? Okay, what's your subject and what is your, what is your verb? The deer is subject. Was? Yes. Is yeah, that's right. So this is the verb. Next, number nine. There goes a family of raccoons through the woods. Okay, what's your answer? There goes a family of raccoons through the woods. 
a family of raccoons is subject Yes, it's good. Follows And this verb. yeah, that's right. This is verb number 10. Look at all the stars in the sky tonight. Look at the stars in the sky tonight. What's your answer? Where is the subject and where is the verb? Look is the verb. Yeah, the that's star right. is. Okay, this is an action. And then the stories are the subject. Okay, all the stories that is our subject for this sentence. Next, number 11, can you spot the beat deeper? You is the subject, spot is the word. Oh, what happened? Okay, so your answer is? Be deeper is the subject. And what is your verb? Spot. Okay. Spot is a verb. Next, number 12. Her comments and all about the tree troops. Her comes. Oh, please read. An mm, always subject comes verb. Okay, that's right. So, and all is a subject and comes is the verb. Did you understand now, my? Yeah. Yeah, so you will just use, use what? Mm -hmm. You will use the verb phrase twice or verb. And then the next one is a subject. Okay, so let's have next activity. Subjects in unusual order. Oh, unusual order. Again, sir. Writing sentences in the following sentences. Underline the simple subject once and the verb twice. Then write. Then rewrite the sentence so that the subject comes before the verb. There, through the woods, scurried a frightened rabbit. A frightened rabbit scurried through the woods. Next. Oh, do you understand the the instruction? Through the woods, carried a frightened rabbit. A frightened rabbit secured through the woods. What's your answer? Number two, one. Was the family trip to the state park fun? Mm -hmm. What's your answer, Mai? Was the family trip to the state park fun? Okay, what's your answer, Mai? Number one. The family trip to the state park was fun. Okay. Was it fun? Next, number two. I'll be trying. Around to camp. Fire. Such the entire family. Hello. Yeah, so, oh, are you typing? The are cup fire. What? The camp, the fa entire camp. family sat around the campfire. That's right. Next, number three. Are woods available at the campsite? Mm -hmm. What do you think? Books are available at that campsite. Okay, so boats are available at the campsite. Next, the deep lake swam many fish. Hmm. My, are you still there? Number four, mm. in the deep lake swam many fish. Many fish? Yeah. Swarm in the deep lake. Okay, last one. Where are you sorry when the trip ended? Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. 
were you oh were you sorry when the trip ended you were sorry when the trip ended okay do you have questions about this one the subject no. okay so let's have letter b Rewrite each sentence as an in inverted imperative sentence. You may choose to add her or there. We underline each support once and each verb twice in your new sentence. Okay? Okay. Yes. So actually for this letter B, you would just rewrite as an inverted or imperative sentence. You may choose to add, okay, so number one, you can hike through the forest. You can hike through the forest. What's your answer? Mm -hmm. Yes, you can hike through the forest. So our example, the sun rose over our campsite. Over our campsite rose the sand. How about number one? You can hike through the boost. What's your answer? The boost, I mean, through the forest. Okay, so what's your answer? Over the forest. Mm -hmm. Over our forest. You can you can hike. <laughs> oh, difficult. Mm -hmm. What's your answer? Okay, nice. Beautiful wildflowers grow in the meadow. Mm -hmm. What's your answer? Beautiful wildflowers grow in the meadow. In the middle, grow beautiful white flowers. That's right. Okay, next. Poison. Ivy is here by this tree. Mm -hmm. mm. By this tree. By this tree is poison. Okay, that's all. Nice. Yeah. You must extinguish the campfire. The campfire carefully. You must extinguish the campfire carefully. The campfire. Let's extend carefully. Okay, yes. Next, we have number, oh, last number, number six. Around the light leaf, wedding buds. Okay. Easy or difficult? Difficult. <laughs> difficult. <laughs> Yeah, I can see also your eyes, Ming. Ming? Pung Mai. <laughs> okay, do you have questions about this one? Do you have questions, Mai? No. Okay, let's move on our next. Subjects in unusual order, revising you using different sentence orders. Okay, so let's have this revising using a variety of sentence orders. Mm -hmm. Oh, hello? Yeah, so, oh, it's very long. I think it's not really applicable. It's not applicable for the classroom, I mean, for the online learning. Yeah, especially this. Okay, so we know also the subject complements. Okay, so let's have this. Mm hmm. Yeah, so we have words. Do you want to read? You want to read our examples? We have the subject and then the 
predicate nouns. So project is a best. Mm -hmm. Oh, no more questions. Let's start. We have predicate noun follows the linking verb and defines a for defines or name the subject. Predicate adjective follows the linking verb and describes the subject. Mm -hmm. Telling what qualities it has. So it could be the subject for is dance and then the verb is what. Okay. Next, mm -hmm. the dancers are graceful. Graceful is the dancers and then graceful is the. Oh, did you understand this? The yes. linking verb? Okay, so I think you're ready now. So we have this, number one, what's your answer? Okay, you will read for his instruction before you will start identifying. Identifying linking verbs and subject complements. In the following sentence. Align the linking verbs once and the subject complements twice. Align right PA for predicate adjective or PN for predicate now. Okay, so on the line right, PA for predicate adjective or RN to predicate. Okay. Yes. Let's start. Number one, what's your answer? Dancing is one of the oldest forms of communication. Mm -hmm. Communication is. Okay, so PN. Why PN? I don't know, teacher. Okay, so dancing is one of the oldest forms of communication. Your answer for communication is communication also. <laughs> okay, so how about PA is for predicate adjective or and for predicate noun. Okay, so what is your answer? Number one, you told me PA. Why PA? Mm -hmm. PA means predicate. And then PN means political noun. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so number one, your final answer is PA. That's your final answer, my PA. That's number two. Okay. Same answer. <laughs> Number two, same answer. Okay, what's your answer? Number two. Woman. Hmm? Difficult? Yeah. Okay, next. Ballet is a form of formal dancing before performed before for audiences. So what's your answer? Mm -hmm. Oh, what's your answer? Ballet is a form of formal dancing performed for audiences. What's your answer? Mm -hmm. P-A or P-N? A, a PN. PN. Okay. So when I say PN, the predicate noun. Okay. Yeah. So anyway, my let's continue number four next time because I think uh, our time is already over. Do you have questions before we will end? No. Okay. Thank you for that. Have a good night.